Happy birthday to me. <laughs> and woo to you too. <laughs> I swear, can't take them anywhere, they take over! Since I didn't get to finish it when I did it in the intro, yep, we are 59, just shy of, you know, 60. I'm gonna take a bite of my cake. Okay, I'm happy with that. Tried a new bakery. Those strawberries really came through really nice. Anyway, so hello and welcome to Dommy Tries This. I hope you brought your cuppa. Today's coffee mug says you are better than sprinkles and unicorns combined. Uh, this is another one found by my daughter. I don't know if we've shown this one on the channel before. It's just a very simple white mug has a pinkish kind of handle. Uh, there's noises going on in the background. The husband's cooking dinner. Woo! And just being all excited about shit. <laughs> his birthday is actually two days from when I'm filming this. So mine's on the 5th and his is on the 7th. Anyway, in our Sprinkles and Unicorns mug, I've mixed two teas, both from Stash. The first one is the Chai Spice, which has... Uh, blended black tea, cinnamon, ginger, ginger root, allspice, natural cinnamon flavor, clove bud oil, and cardamom oil. I'm really kind of surprised it's a black tea and that I've liked it in the past. <laughs> but, you know. The second one is the chocolate hazelnut decaf tea. This one has decaffeinated black tea, chocolate flavor, hazelnut flavor, and vanilla extract. We are going to get a lot of black tea. I am kind of surprised because actually these have both been teas that I really like and I am not a fan of black tea, as we all know. They must um, manage to flavor it in such a way that I do not get any of that black tea-ness that I can't stand. So let's go ahead and take a sip so we can go ahead and get started. Uh, and uh, you'll have to pardon me if I eat cake while we're talking too. I love the smell of this. It smells amazing. Okay, so the flavors are still working. I don't know if those two uh, tea bags are going to do it for this mug. I don't know what we're going to actually get because this is such a big mug that those tea bags, each of them by themselves, would be watered down. So we're looking at um, possible not getting the full robust flavors of either one of those bags, much less both. We shall see how that goes. I'm gonna go ahead and move my cake over so we can go ahead and get started on the big pink box. The big pink box is my empties. There is actually not a lot in here and some of them aren't actually empty, they are old. But I did just find a brush that I've been missing. I knew I heard it fall and I don't know if you all can see that but it's also covered in cake. Blessed cats, we love them. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and pull stuff out, and uh, yeah, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead. Oh, and I got trash in there too. What are, this is not a trash bag, guys. Nobody's home. They're all outside. They've all gone away. There is so much hair care. No, there isn't so much hair care. There's there's a bit of hair care though. Uh, some things that I'm disappointed about. I got a lot of little bottles and things here, so we're going to go through these. Um, the first one is the Moira Volume and Long Lash Mascara. I don't like this mascara. I really don't. I just got it. It just It's just open. But this is a flaky mascara. It tends to get in my eyes and hurt, and I don't recall seeing much volume or long on it. So um, I can't give it really give it to anybody except maybe my daughter. Uh, so it ended up in the empties box because it's just going to go. 
Uh, two things that y'all know I use a lot. The, vol the Essence Volume Boosting uh, Lash Primer. I use this all the time. And my ColourPop Lippy Sticks Primer. Both of these primers I find are great. The Essence creates a lot of um, separation on my lashes and helps with the length. And the ColourPop is really good to place under just about anything. It really helps remove lipsticks. It helps make everything smooth. Um, even when my lips are kind of dry, it helps, uh, I guess, balm them out and take care of some of that dryness. So I do have backups of both of these and probably will get more backups of the backups of both of these. I actually kind of ran out of the Essence um, I didn't have a backup and had to wait a couple days and I hated that. <laughs> it worked. I got some really good mascaras that worked without it, but I just prefer it. Next thing is this mini of the NYX, uh, the Marshmallow Primer. I do have, a, I did get a full size of it that I have been using it. I mixed it with something else today to test, test to see if that something else would mix. It mixed well. I'm really happy <laughs> and unhappy at the same time. The thing it mixed with is a little bit more expensive. But uh, I really do enjoy this primer. I do find that it gives me a nice smooth canvas and my makeup sticks to it fairly well. It does not emphasize my texture. I think it helps reduce the texture just a little bit. But overall, I really enjoy this primer. So I do have it. It's in my basket of things I use today. Um, this is the Ulma by Sharon. This is their... It's complicated lip tint and oil and gloss. I didn't hate this, but I much prefer the e.l.f. Uh, lip oil to this. So um, it just got old. It got sticky. This is from, it has to be last year because the year before I used green stickers. This is, a, this is from, uh, August, August of last year. August of last year and it just started getting sticky and it's popping out of the thing and it just got to the point where I'm like well I don't know if it's safe or not so no but I wouldn't repurchase it either I'm like I said I'm really happy with the elf lip uh, lip oil lip tint and um, that's a lot less expensive it gives me about the same amount of color it gives me a nice shine and everything so I'm real happy with it I ran out of this Huang Jisoo Pure Perfect Cleansing Oil. I want to pick up another one from Amazon, but it's like 25 bucks, so I've been having to take it off my list. <laughs> but I really want to buy more. Uh, I did like it. I, it took a long time for me to get through it because I only use it um, when I do makeup and you don't need to use a lot, and it's I, I really enjoyed this. So I really want to get another one. I have tried to find cheaper oils, face oils, cleansing oils, and so far, none of the ones I've tried have really pleased me. So I want to get another bottle of this as soon as I can. I also put this is not used up, but this is a ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip. I think this is the one that had the strings. Yeah, you can see those. That's when you stop. <laughs> That's when you stop. So it's not empty, uh, it, but it's not usable anymore either. I love the ColourPop uh, Glossy Lips, and I love their Satin Lips. Haven't been a huge fan of most of their matte lips, but um, as long as I can gloss them, I'm happy. In addition to the husband in the kitchen, we also have kids outside yelling, probably playing football or something. Alrighty, so I also have in there, this is also not empty. This is the Essence Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation. This is in the color Neutral Suede. Uh, there was a couple of problems with this. Uh, for one, I think it's a little too orange for me. It's... Um, supposed to be neutral but it's not really it's warm and um i don't mind neutrals having slight warmth to them but this was this is very yellow and orangey and when i go out in the sun it's really yellow and orangey and i know some of that is because of the sunlight you know we're talking about that that nice bright golden glow uh but it looks really horrendous on me uh, on top of that um, I've actually gotten even lighter since I purchased this because I have not been out in the sun for like ever, except for when we moved. And um, 
I think I've hit about peak lightness for me, but this was also a sh just a bit too dark. And the next time I would be able to get to it, it would be past its prime. This is from February of this year. And so in the bin it went, I hate waste and y'all know that, but at least this is like a six or seven dollar foundation and not a $45 foundation. So, ah, yes. Uh, as usual, we have two of the NYX uh, matte finish setting sprays. Always, I use a lot of this. Um, my favorite setting spray. I have been playing around with a few others and I still haven't found anything better than this for my skin and face. Couple of skincare items. I have the Tea Tree Papa John's, uh, Papa John's, not pizza, Papa Recipe Tea Tree Green Mud Mask. Tea Tree Control Green Mud Mask. I love this. I adore this. I ended up buying several minis from um, uh, Ipsy because you cannot buy this anymore. I am so upset that this is no longer available. It's not on their site. It's not on Amazon. It's, and I don't buy from places like Poshmark. I just, I don't, I have problems with trusting that. I'm sorry. I do. Um, I just do. But this is a nice exfoliating type mask that doesn't have sharp edged exfoliators. Uh, it feels almost like they put bits of leather or something in there, and that just helps very gently to exfoliate your face. You're not going to get a whole bunch of um, uh, worries about micro tears or anything. I have never felt sharp, anything sharp in this, and that's why I have adored it, absolutely adored it. And now I'm not going to be able to get a replacement, and I'm really upset about that. Um, I did get like three, I got two, and then my daughter gave me an extra one of uh, the minis that they had at uh, Ipsy. But yeah, I'm really upset that this is this is no longer in production or no longer available anywhere, I should say. Um, but if it were, I would definitely be buying more, I would say that. And I just... <sighs> this and my uh, Citrus Fusion uh, Hair and Body Butter there's other things that have gone out. I mean, like I've had lipstick colors that are no longer being produced. I can find replacements for that. Some of them I have trouble finding replace. I have never seen another mask like this where the exfoliators are just so gentle that they're not going to tear your skin. I've just, <sighs> anyway, yeah, this is empty. That's actually empty. Another one that's actually empty that you all know I love and I'm so glad it's still out there. You guys have seen this several times. This is the Claire Vitamin E Freshly Juiced Vitamin E Mask. Every time I bring it up, I tell you guys it saved my skin because it saved my skin. A few years back, I was having trouble with ringworm on my face. Ringworm is not a worm. It's a fungus. And um, unfortunately, it can also be scarring. And it's really hard to get rid of. And some of the things you use to get rid of are things like uh, acids, like apple cider vinegar and stuff like that. And so I was doing that, but I always use this. And I think it prevented me from getting any scars or any uh, residual issues from that incident. And I've used it ever since. I use it whenever I feel like my skin is being sensitive. I use it whenever my skin, whenever I've done a uh, more uh, an exfoliating mask that has more sharp pieces in it, things like that. This 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 is my holy grail skincare. If you get anything out of what I talk about, this for skin, this would be the one thing I would highly highly recommend. It is worth every, it's like $30, I think, but it is worth every penny. It lasts for months if you use it once a day. And um, they include a little a little spoon thing so you don't put on too much. And uh, I just really, really love this. I do have one open in the downstairs bathroom right now. And I think I have one under my sink. And if I don't, it's time to, for me to get that backup replacement because... There are moments when things go out of stock and then you're sitting there frantically trying to find them. But I highly, highly recommend that. All right, so last few items are, are, are hair care. And um, they're all things I like. Uh, however, only two of them I get replacements for. And I will explain that to you. Um, the first is this Twist Sunday Feels uh, 
deeply hydrating hair mask. Now I will point out for something that's deeply hydrating, it only has three of the five raindrops. <laughs> so that's not that deeply hydrating. So that's the first problem for me is it does not hydrate as much as I need it to. I did enjoy the mask. But when you're taking care of your hair the way I do, you need something that's deeply hydrating for the parts of my hair that are starting to dry out. You can't tell now because most of them are no longer silver, but there's some silvers here where the dye's starting to fade. Which brings up the other reason that I probably won't repurchase. These, this mask and the one that I have upstairs from the same company, Twist, this is from Oedad, and I really love Oedad products. I have a couple of them. Or I actually have one that I use on a regular basis. They're a very good company. Their products are very good. This is a much more affordable um, line for them. Most of their other stuff runs in the like you know the twenty to thirty dollar range. These run in the ten. Uh, but the thing is, is that both of these masks take out more of this color that's in my hair than any other mask that I use. There are times when I rinse my hair and I apply a mask instead of washing it but I apply the mask because I'm rinsing out some of that stuff and getting you know my silvers are getting wet and they get dry easily and all that stuff so I want to put some of that moisture into the hair instead of just rinsing it all out so I will occasionally put in a little of a mask and these things just they strip out that color <laughs> really really do so if you're going to use the color pop main event no, <laughs> don't don't use these masks because they will strip out that color. And um, fortunately, I have the the coloring conditioner, so that helps get some of that color back in. But these are otherwise they are actually very good masks. They're just not appropriate for my hair. So both this one and the one that I'm trying to finish up will probably not be repurchases for me anytime soon. But if you have curly hair and you're looking for a good mask, these are good masks if you're not dry, if you're not on the dry, dry end of things. So if you have more of a normal type of texture and they're very creamy, I don't know if there's anything left in here. I don't think there is. Oh, there is a little bit. They're very, very creamy. Um, they're otherwise very, very hydrating. They feel really good and they do the job that they are supposed to do. They just, I just need more of the moisture in them and less stripping of the color. Uh, the next item, we're down to two items, so we're almost done. The next item is also a mask and that's the Eden Body Works uh, Almond, I'm making sure, it's, yes, it's Almond Marshmallow. I knew it was Almond Marshmallow, but I wasn't sure if the marshmallow or almond was first. The Eden Body Works Almond Marshmallow Split End Repair Mask. The first time I ever tried this thing, uh, my hair was just like, eh, it's okay. Sure, whatever. Uh, but as it's gotten more silver, it loves this. It absolutely loves this. And apparently, if uh, my hair's reaction to other things with marshmallow root is any indication, my hair loves marshmallow root in general. And interestingly enough, glycerin is like the fourth one on the list, uh, but my hair doesn't seem to have a problem with that. I'm wondering if the marshmallow root or other ingredients in this particular mask are countering the usual issues that I have with uh, glycerin. Or maybe my hair is becoming slightly less glycerin, although we are looking kind of fuzzy today. But this is second day here. At any rate, this is a very good mask. I've got one open in my bathroom. I have another one under my sink. I will, uh, I highly recommend it again. Now, I do take issue <laughs> with the name split end repair mask once you have split ends there is only one way to repair them and that is to cut them off you cannot actually rebind the split hairs together however it does do a good job at um preventing split ends and I also find that there must be some kind of protein boost in here because it makes my hair feel thicker and fuller. And like I said, my hair just really seems to love it. So highly, highly recommend. And last, I was wondering how long it was going to take me to get through this, but we are finally there. I've had this for a little over a year, I think. And that's the Botanica Beauty The Mender Protein Treatment. And uh, I use this almost every wash. Now, why do I use this almost every wash? Because I have to moisturize my hair almost every wash, which is great for my silver hair, but you can over moisturize your hair. And my uh, dark colored hair, 
the stuff that still has pigment, uh, would become uh, over moisturized if I didn't add a little bit of protein. Now before I was coloring, I would actually directly add this to the mask, just a little bit in the mask, mix them together and put them in my hair. Now that I'm coloring, I'm actually putting a little bit on my hair first and then putting the coloring conditioner over it. And that seems to be better than trying to mix the two. Uh, part of that is because the coloring conditioner is already kind of on the loose end, and this makes it looser, even if you try to limit how much you put in. But this is like the easiest protein treatment out there. My hair responds to it very, very well. There is no one te step, two step, whatever kind of thing going on. Uh, I know that there is, uh, what is it? I can't remember the name of it, apophagy or something like that. Uh, protein where there's a two-step thing and you've got to watch for the hardness and no this is just simple you put it in your hair you leave it in your hair 15 minutes you rinse you're done that's it so I have one in the bathroom and I think I have to get it back up under my sink but this is my go-to protein treatment when I need a protein treatment or, you know, now I'm using it, like I said, almost every wash, just a little bit. And it still took over a year for me to use this up. So highly recommend if you're looking for a protein treatment that is easy and does not require you to go to a salon to get it done right. So very easy to use. So that is it of all the stuff that I've used. Zipped right on through it amazingly. And uh, you'll have to let me know down below if you are interested in any of those items, if you would purchase any of them. And in the meantime, that is it for the day. And I hope you like what you've seen. And if you do like what you've seen, I hope you will subscribe if you have not yet. When you subscribe, please hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. I currently upload three days a week. That would be Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. However, we sometimes have bonus videos. I am supposed to film one tonight or tomorrow. We shall see. And, uh, you know, when we have the bonus videos, they go up on days that aren't normal. So you'll have to have that bell click to know about them. If you're part of my notification squad, please check both your bell and your subscription to make sure they are both still active. And if you choose not to subscribe, well, I would be very disappointed and sad. However, you are always welcome back here again. And when you do come back again, don't forget to bring your cup of tea. All right, so we have sat here for about 20 minutes or so. We're going to go oh so. I am hoping that um, the two different flavors worked well to create a nice tea that does not taste watered down. Let's give her a taste and see how it goes. It's still watered down. I, I kind of, like I said at the beginning, I kind of suspected that would be the problem. And I don't think these two actually work well together. I am not getting much of the chocolate or hazelnut. I am getting mostly the spices from the spice tea. And I think that's pretty much overwhelming everything else in the cup. Not a mix to do again. So that is it. And I hope you have a good one.